Oh, there's another kitty. You poor little babies. It's really hot up there too. So, like so look how messy you are. Your mom has to lick you off now. <coughs> look at Jenny. So cute. Oh my gosh. Where are the babies? Where is the phone? Retire from Give me a little bit. Ow! Yeah, be careful. Jenny! Oh, so you're, because we can't walk on there, you mean? Yeah, we would fall through it. Alright, what about a broom? Where's Yuri at? She's over She's there. in there. Oh, she was. Oh, she Yuri, was. what did you do with your children? There's crap everywhere up here. What kind of crap? Well, I know there's like metal. Um, I don't want you falling through. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, this part's pretty stable. Uh, I see it moving, Haley. Down here. Uh. Okay, this was not on my plans for today. Come on, Jenny. Tuck and roll. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. What am I doing, Jenny? Come here. I can't see. Oh, mom, you sit. <laughs> oh, here. Here, you go right there. Get. Where'd you put up? Here, hold on. You are dirty now, girlfriend. Yeah, you can see dust off coming up. Oh, oh, let me see those beautiful eyes. I know, you got your babies. You we put them way up first. there, all in the dirty spot. So, I'm sorry, Mama. We got to move them. Oh, the life of having a barn cat. All right, so where are the other kitties? I think I can reach them. This part is... It, was Jenny like, diff yeah, in a different she, spot? She, she, was, she was kind of far away from the you rest of them in, over in there. there. What'd you do to your babies? Did you move them? So I know this is perfectly normal. This is what farm cats do. They move their babies if they feel they need a different area. We do not want the babies way up here in this barn area. It's super dusty, super dirty. And once they start moving around, you know, they could fall. They're still only two weeks old. So we just don't want any mishaps. We've had neighbors in the past have kitties get paralyzed because they they dropped off the whole area down there. Oh, you're gonna need a bath after this, girlfriend. Oh, there's another kitty. You poor little babies. It's really hot up there too. So, like so look how messy you are. Your mom has to lick you off now. <coughs> Wonder how which way she took to get him up there. We're gonna help you, Mama. We got two of them. So they're like all hot and panting out there. Hi, guys. What do you want? Do you want a treat? <laughs> you guys hungry? A little afternoon snack? All right, so we're gonna have to think of a different plan for her. Hmm, we don't want this to happen again. Do you think she, if the lid would have been on the top, or did she just, it's gonna be very interesting how we're gonna come up with the plan. Look at what I've got for you. Always oh, coughing. It's probably because it's so dusty up there. Did you just walk on it? I yeah, you well, you got to be careful. Where are you going? Hey! She likes to push me around. Oh, now she's mad at Rico. Poor Rico. Our little mare is quite the sassy pants when it comes to her food. She's very, very protective. 
You are a beauty queen. You know what, Rico? He's hungry too. Relax, child. All right, let me get Rico some. Our boy, look at you got little gray hairs. There you go. Hey, you can go back. I know, babies. Your mother lost her mind. We got one more to get. Crazy Carol farm life. Every day is a new flavor of excitement. Every day is a new flavor. What happened to your halter? You either took it off yourself, which you did that the other day. There you go, buddy. Go ahead. Yes, you eat. Your sister is not nice to you. She doesn't share food, does she? Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day. I'm supposed to be going to the store. And then we had this kitty mishap to deal with. Oh, oh, was that not Gino? No, that's not Gino. Yeah, it is. Look at the hairs. Let me see. We don't even know which one's Gino. Oh, we're terrible. Look at your knee. Oh my gosh, let me see. All right, come here, Gino. There's Gino. Oh my gosh, you're so dirty now. Look at those beautiful eyes, though. Poor baby. But you guys are hungry. Okay, take two. Let's put you back in here with Mama. You know what? I should probably um change this blanket. Well, what if she puts him up there again? So I wonder what happened like last night. When did 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 I, you see this this morning? I don't really. I think they were in there. I don't know. She was up there when I came. So maybe something scared her last night, and um, she felt like she needed to move them. All right, well, they're safe and sound. All right, guys, here is where the kitties ended up. So we had more drama after the last little kitty rescue of the top of the barn. Look how fat you are. Oh, my gosh, you're so precious. Look at that face, guys. There's your baby. Where's Gino? Is this Gino? Gino's like a total crybaby. You're not Gino. Oh my gosh, like seriously, I just want to keep them all. Oh, hi, baby. <gasps> Your eyes are open. This was the last one to open this eyes. Are you the youngest? Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Look at Jenny. She's playing with the hay. Gosh, they're learning to be kitties. Yes, you need to be kitties. Okay, so here's the deal. So Mama Cat, she wasn't happy with that cage that we had the babies in. She kept moving them. We need to adopt at least two of them out. We're going to probably keep two, Jenny and Gino, but um, we need them to be friendly because we don't want feral cats. So we had this blocked off just at night, like this. And then she's opening it. So, you know, obviously we don't want to trap her in here. I do want to get a litter box so that we can train these cats if they want to use a litter box, if they're going to be going to homes. But basically the tap room we have closed. It is going to be 100 degrees in a couple days. We did not want her to have the babies way up high in the barn when it's gonna be 100 degrees. We cannot monitor them. I know it happens. I know barn cats, they go all over. They take their babies all over. In the meantime, we had a really kind of funny story happen last night. So my neighbor at 11.30 p.m. texted me asking if I still had my kitties because she knew the mom had moved them around. I said, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna go check and see if she has somehow gotten out and moved the cats. So my neighbor found kittens in a pickup truck that her son brought over. 
And so I texted her and I said, is there a gray one? And she said, yes. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to go check. So we went to the bar and we checked and we had all of our kittens. And then I texted her and said, well, we'll be in the backyard. We'll meet up with you. You know, I want to hear where, whose kittens are these? Well, come to find out, her son brought a pickup truck over to get it fixed. And there were kittens in there for a little over a day and they were not crying and then they heard him last night so uh, a barn cat had had kittens their eyes weren't open and had given birth in this pickup truck and so there was an orange cat a gray cat a couple other colors so now it's like midnight and she goes with her husband to drive the pickup truck back over to the original house and Thank goodness they found the mom and put the kittens with the mom and they are doing really well. Craziness, I tell you, farm life is just so fun, guys. I love my neighbor. She's just the sweetest ever. She does so much for us and for my kids and we're learning so much more about farm life and gardening. So yeah, I thought that might be a fun story to tell you guys. I wanna get a couple kitty toys in here, some balls. We are going to get them on some soft food next week after they'll be about three and a half weeks old. They'll start searching around, testing out some soft food. Mom will start weaning them off by four to five weeks. And of course, we're going to let her teach them you know, how to do all the kitty stuff. But, okay, so I'm going to let her take a nap. The babies are eating. And this was just an update on our three-week-old kittens after all of the other stuff that you just saw. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below if you've had barn cats and any situations that you've had with her moving kittens around. And so far, so good.